Well, welcome back. Dennis Parker has been a part of several state championships, both as a head coach and as an assistant, but it was a team he coached that didn't win a state title that helped pave the way for a program to make its mark on Texas high school football history. When Dennis Parker took the head coaching job at Marshall High School in 1984, it wasn't seen as a good job. In fact, they hadn't won a playoff game since 1949, and the fan base wasn't very optimistic. And this lady says, uh, I want to know, how do you know when you've turned the program around? I said, when you beat somebody you shouldn't have beaten. She said, well, you'll have 10 chances next year. By year four, Parker felt like the Mavericks were turning the corner. They finished with eight wins in 1987, including one he says they shouldn't have won against Lufkin. But the Mavericks still hadn't had any success with rival Longview, losing some 19 times in a row. So Parker decided to up the ante when it came to scheduling and brought in West Texas power Odessa Permian. Once we scheduled Odessa Permian, everybody forgot about Longview. You're going to get killed. <laughs> Permian will score a hundred on you guys. You know <laughs> but the Mavericks didn't get killed. In fact, they pulled off the upset that Saturday afternoon, putting the Marshall football program on the map in the state of Texas. Parker and the Mavericks won their next four games with relative ease, outscoring their opponents 116 to 52. But up next was perennial power Longview. When we played Longview that year, 1988, we're already the district champions. Touchdown, Mavericks! And I'm walking down, and I'm in East Texas Sporting Goods going in to see Mac Reynolds, and there's an older lady there, and she, she goes, You're Coach Parker, aren't you? And I said, Yes, ma'am, I am. You ain't done nothing until you beat Longview. I don't care if you win district or not. You ain't done nothing. The 1988 team finished the regular season unbeaten, but came up two wins short of the school's first state championship. Two years later, Parker would lead the Mavericks to the school's first state title, but still says that 1988 team it was special. Coaches, for some reason, don't ever want to compare teams. I have no trouble. 88's the best football team I ever coached. Those kids should have won state. Seems the UIL agreed, awarding Parker with the State Coach of the Year Award, even without a state title, something that doesn't happen very often. To get Coach of the Year in the state of Texas and not win the state championship in 88, that meant more to me than it did in 90 because we won the state championship. He's looking for Beckham down here. He has it at the 10. Beckham scores. Oh, it's wow. a touchdown. It was Dallas Carter who ended that magical run in 1988, a team that later had to forfeit their entire season, meaning the Mavericks are the only team in Texas high school football history to go unbeaten and not win the state championship. Sign says it all. They're the legal state champions. Yeah. Dallas Carter was cheating. Right. What a great look that was, and he remembers everything so vividly. That's oh wonderful. yeah, he 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 talked very highly about all those kids on that '88 team. He just loved those kids, yeah. and he he just felt so bad that they weren't able to get over that hump and win that state title because he did win two other state championships as a coach. Yeah. So, um, but uh, Coach Parker. Um, having some health issues right now. He is in the hospital, so our thoughts and prayers are with him uh, with his heart issues. Right.